Welcome to Give Energy, and in this video, we will tell you how to update the firmware on your Give Energy battery systems. It's quite straightforward, and all you need is to use the portal, not the app. So effectively, anything with a web browser. So this is my portal, my dashboard. Yours may look slightly different depending on how you've laid it out. What we're looking for on the dashboard is my inverter. So for my layout, I have to scroll down on the left and then click on these expanding arrows on the right side of where it says my inverter. That makes it at the center of the page. Then I need to find where it says software right here and click on that. You'll notice at the bottom, it says update firmware and effectively that's the next step. However, before you press that, there's probably something that's worth planning beforehand. After the firmware is completed, the battery will do a full recalibration. So it will fully discharge down to 0% and then fully charge back up again to 100%. So this is something that's probably worth timing correctly. If you're on a time of day tariff, such as the one I'm on, then it's worth timing it so you do the firmware update just before that time starts, the off-peak period, if you will. So mine starts at 11.30 p.m. So I'm going to click the update firmware button at about 20 past 11 or even half past 11 or somewhere around that time. That way the battery will be at its lowest so it doesn't have to fully discharge. There's probably only 10, 20, 30% left. It depends on what the solar panels are doing. And then it will fully charge on my off-peak cheap rate. So it's not costing me any more money than it would normally because normally I would tell it to charge at night. So this way, it's not going to affect essentially the day-to-day -day operation of the battery. If you're not on a time of day tariff and you rely solely on your solar panels to charge the battery up, then in this case, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Although you may want to time it so the full 100% charge it does is around midday or whenever the solar is at its peak for your house. That way, at least some of the energy will come from your solar panels rather than all from the grid. Either way, after a firmware update, a full recalibration will take place. Another thing that's worth timing right is your internet usage. You don't have to do this, but ultimately, if your internet has been maxed out, if someone is using an awful lot of bandwidth, then it can affect the firmware update process. So it's probably worth waiting until nobody's watching an ultra HD stream of a film or a TV series or doing a big upload to YouTube, for example, or anything that's using your entire internet bandwidth, upload or download. You don't have to kick everyone off or anything like that, but ultimately it is worth waiting until nobody's using any heavy bandwidth data requirements, TV, streaming, whatever it is, so it doesn't interrupt the process. Right, it's the right time for me, so I'm going to click on update firmware button now. Once you've read the statement and tick the box, you can then click on the update firmware button again, and that will begin the process. There's a progress bar starting at 0% and going all the way up to 100%, which essentially means once it gets to the top, it's finished. It usually takes five or 10 minutes for this sort of thing, but depending on what system you have, allow up to 30 minutes before you have to go down the manual update route. During this process, the system said my inverter was then offline, then it was idle, and then given enough time, a few minutes later, here we are, we're finally on the latest version. So I have now upgraded my inverter, and everything is good. Just remember to give it that extra bit of time. If it looks like it's saying it's offline, don't panic, just wait a little bit longer. Now, it's a piece of technology, and for someone that's spent over 20 years working in IT, believe me, there are times when firmware updates fail. And if this happens to you with the Give Energy system, don't panic, it just means we have to do a manual update procedure for your battery. Before you do that though, just refresh the page where it said update firmware now and try that again. If that's an option, do that and quite often that will solve the problem. If it doesn't or it's just not an option for you, then unfortunately, yes, we do have to go down the manual update line. Because there are several variants of the battery and the inverter, I can't put everything in this video. So the best thing to do is to put in the description of this video a link to each manual update process. So for example, if you've got an all-in-one, then you will watch the video for the all-in-one manual update procedure. All you'll need is a USB drive and something to copy the files that you download onto that memory drive. 
Please be aware that some of the manual update procedures will require a qualified person to carry out. This hopefully isn't needed, but if so, then please do watch the video for your particular battery before you do an update, so at least you're familiar with the process. If there is an urgent firmware update that is needed, perhaps a security update, then Give Energy will push that to the batteries automatically. That should be it. Your firmware should now be on the latest version and, well, we're done. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.